What's going on, everybody? Not too sure what day is going to come out because I've been getting a lot of messages with different content and stuff to come out. So we're going to do these a little bit short and sweet and to the point. So today's video, more blunders by our manufacturing sports card companies. So this one here is brought to us by Twitter. I'll put a link down in case you guys need some good old toilet read um, with all the comments and stuff on too. It's brought to us by Overtime Rips. Must read, I opened this pack on stream, a common repack product. The chat notice to Josh Allen Auto look peculiar. So you're telling me that someone at Panini placed the incorrect Josh Allen on the card and Beckett failed to notice this one grading. Thoughts? Well, look at this. I'll pull this one up first. There's what Josh Allen on the Jags looks like, right? There's what Josh Allen from 2019 Gold XR looks like out of 10. Same exact thing. We'll flip that off for you guys real quick. So, any thoughts on this? Yes, I do agree that it's probably not the right Josh Allen's auto. I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure on this one. I always give myself that little 0.01% because I could be just completely off of my game. Now, as far as Beckett... Beckett only grades the auto. They don't authenticate it, if I am correct, onto it. You have, it's a different service on to have an authentication for an auto. I, I could be wrong, guys. It's been many years since I've used Beckett. Probably somewhere, oh, first year of COVID, I'd say. Somewhere that summertime might have been the last couple I sent out to them. So, here... Man, that sucks because that thing's been slabbed in anything, everything. You know, what's Panini to do on something like this from 2019? Is Beckett going to be held accountable? I mean, what do you guys think offhand? It's getting crazy with all the QC stuff coming out. I mean, I, I got another video coming out tomorrow. It, it's just, it's enormous with the amount of mistakes that's being made on these sports cards that cost a lot of money when we're buying these boxes to open. And it's just it's just bad quality. And we're not even talking about the condition of the cards coming out with chipped edges, all those roller printer lines, whatever you want to call them, the whiting on the corners, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Packaging of the product, the ten thousand different types of parallels now to each card out there. I know ten thousand's big, probably hitting about a hundred on some of them by now. But wanted to share this real quick with you guys. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, is Becca going to be held responsible for it? I mean, honestly, legally, I, I don't know. think they are because I don't think they authenticate. They just grade the auto here. And I think whenever you get an autograph authenticated, it goes to a different um, uh, area. But I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I graded with Beckett on that stuff. But I will agree with everything on here. It's definitely the Jacksonville Jaguars, Josh Allen auto on a Josh Allen QB for the Bills card. All right, guys, I'm out. Catch you next one.